are going to show you our Bluetooth remote debugging system. Firstly, let's take a look at the composition of this system. The hardware part is the Bluetooth module, MT70BREA, which is connected to the motherboard of the controller. Its size is similar to a USB. The software part includes two apps, Bluetooth connection and remote debugging. After on-site users log in the Bluetooth connection app and connect their mobile phone with Bluetooth, remote assistance users with remote debugging app can view the current values of all elevated parameters and modify the parameters directly on their own phone, which means they can help on-site users debug elevators remotely without going to the site. These two apps only support Android phone at present. Now we'll show you how to use this system. We'll introduce it in two parts, on-site user operation and remote assistance user operation. Let's first look at the on-site user operation. Firstly, on-site users need to install the Bluetooth connection app on the phone. This app can be downloaded by scanning the QR code on the right with browser and send us the ID number on the back of the Bluetooth used on site. We will create an account for logging accordingly. Each Bluetooth corresponds to a unique account. Secondly, connect the Bluetooth to the motherboard of the controller and unplug the keypad. Thirdly, switch elevator to inspection mode and check that the inspection signal indicator of the motherboard lights up in green. Fourth, open the Bluetooth connection app and enter the corresponding account to log in. Allow all permissions requested by the app and turn on the GPS. Click Found Device and select the ID of Bluetooth used on site. When the Bluetooth icon in the upper left corner turns white, it means the Bluetooth has been connected successfully. Fifth, confirm the elevator is in inspection mode. Click OK to enter the permission setting interface. Enter the user password of controller and click Submit. Enter 0 if you don't set user password. The app will automatically connect to the cloud server. When the internet icon in the upper right corner turns white, it means the internet has been connected successfully. Sixth, Link Start Debugging at the bottom of the screen to authorize the remote assistance user to view and modify the parameters. So far, the on-site use operation part is over. Let's move to the second part. Firstly, the remote assistance users need to install the remote debugging app on the phone. This app can be downloaded by scanning the QR code on the right with the browser and let the on-site user you are going to support provide the username and password of the Bluetooth user on-site, as well as the Bluetooth ID. Secondly, open the remote debugging app and enter the username and password to log in. Select the ID of Bluetooth used on-site in the device list. The app will automatically connect to the cloud server. When the internet icon in the upper right corner turns white, it means the internet has been connected successfully. Thirdly, the interface is initially displayed as group D parameter. You can select the parameters to be viewed and modified according to the set conditions. Let's take the parameter F00.01 as an example. Select the group of the parameter and find the parameter to be viewed. The current value of this parameter will be automatically displayed in pop-up interface after you chose it. And you can also modify the parameter value as needed. The parameters viewed and modified by the remote assistance user will be simultaneously displayed on the mobile phone of the on-site user. Also note that if the on-site user clicks stop debugging during the process, the remote assistance user will not be able to view and modify the parameters and will be reminded remote debugging is not started on site when they operate it.